This by beat tutorial for beginners is the only video you will need to see if you want to join the cryptocurrency world and make money with digital currencies. In this crypto tutorial video, I will be opening a brand new Bybit account and showing you how to carry out Bybit KYC verification from the beginning to the end, how to receive money in crypto, how to send money with digital coins, how to trade and convert to fiat money if that is what you want. I'll show you all of this with the consciousness that I'm teaching a brand new beginner and if you're not a beginner, also good for you. So, I made a video a few days back on how you can make money on a website called ITMAT. I have tried this website as you can see and I have made money and I'm still making money on it. You can watch that video after watching this one. The link to that video is in the video description. A number of you guys requested that I create another video to show you guys how to open a crypto account, especially for those who are not very used to the whole cryptocurrency thing. And that is why I'm publishing this video. So please give this video a like. Now listen to this short story. When I started this whole online also thing, I never really liked the crypto idea and I told myself that I wouldn't learn it. I'll just focus on making the normal fiat money, I mean the normal US dollars, Naira, Pound Sterling and the rest of them. So one day, I checked my mail and I got an offer for a job from a company based in Singapore and after we were done with the business discussion, which went so well, they now told me to send my crypto payment address for payment. I was almost going to tell them that I don't do deals in crypto because actually I have rejected quite a number of other offers in time past because I don't understand anything about crypto back then. So this time I had to borrow myself some sense and I told them to hold on for a while. So I had to quickly contact a friend of mine who offered to give me his payment address that deal was about 600 USDT and that was how I would have lost that deal if I wasn't smart about it. Guess what? I have rejected several other smaller deals and I've lost money just because I was foolish and I did not learn crypto, which doesn't really make sense. So even if you don't have anyone to pay you in cryptocurrency right now or you don't have money to even invest into crypto, you had better start from somewhere and at least you should have a crypto account like I'm going to show you now. And just leave it somewhere it won't hurt to have at least a crypto account for yourself so bybit is legit is global and it's one of the best crypto platform around so to begin with you can actually open your crypto account either with your phone or laptop but i'll be demonstrating this account creation with my laptop okay before i sign up it's a common knowledge that some countries place some kinds of restrictions on some website so if you're in a Nigerian space, for example, you might find it a little difficult to sign up to these kind of websites. So what you quickly want to do is to open a tool called Cloudflare WAP. Just open your browser and type in 1.1.1.1 on your address bar. Here, choose the device that you want to use and then proceed to connect it. This is more like a DNS resolver that helps you to keep your browsing privacy intact just in case a restriction is placed on this crypto website in your location. So I'll just go ahead and install this software. Once done, come here and switch it on. So after this, go use the link I pasted in the video description below this video and open this Bybit website. Using that link will give you access to some free bonuses on this website and you even have the chance to win up to 4,000 US dollars. So to sign up, come here at sign up now. I'll just sign up with my Google account. Continue. I'll complete this puzzle. Join now. Now, you need to know that cryptocurrency is purely digital money. Though digital, that means you have to keep this account secured and verified by carrying out your Bybit KYC. You can do it either on your phone or laptop, so I'll just show you how to do it here. So click verify now. Again, verify now. Select my country of residence. So here, choose your means of identification. 
Now, BVN is recommended for Nigeria, so I'll go ahead and choose that. Confirm. I am a resident or live in, okay, I'll just choose others. But if you live in the US, go ahead and choose that. Continue. Here, type in your last name, that's your surname. Here, add your BVN. Next. Here, you'll be required to capture your face, so go ahead and do that by clicking I'm ready. You can also use your phone to complete this section of the face capture just if your laptop webcam is not working or you don't have one. So once you're done, you will see the congratulation message and then your account is active at this point. So this is what your new Bybit account dashboard will look like. There are quite a number of stuff you can do on Bybit and obviously I will only be taking you through the most important ones to start with as a beginner or someone that is new to this platform. Again, if you want me to create extended tutorials on other aspects of Bybit, then you can let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, please, if you are here to give this video a like, I will appreciate if you can do that for me right now. Okay, so as a beginner, the two most important things you want to quickly grab on any crypto platform is number one, how to receive money in cryptocurrency and two, how to send money to other cryptocurrency platforms. So let's just jump to that right now and let me show you how to receive money in cryptocurrency from a sender in Bybit. Come here and click deposit. So here you will ask the sender of this money to give you the details of the coin type they are sending. So I'll just click the drop down arrow here. On Bybit, you can receive your crypto either as Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, USDC or XRP. Now, there are two kinds of coins. We have the stable coin and the unstable. Basically, a stable coin does not fluctuate. It usually carries the approximate value of the normal fiat US dollars. So for example, USDT is an example of a stable coin, meaning that its value is always about the value of US dollars. So one USDT is almost around 0 0.991 or 1.01 US dollars. Now this value does not fluctuate, unlike other coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum, which are always going up and down. USDC is another example of a stable coin. So if my sender is sending USDT, for example, I'll just select USDT here. Now here I choose a chain. Some platform call this chain a network. So, that's the second information that your sender needs to tell you. So I'll just click the drop down arrow here. And again, let's say that the sender is sending a TRC20 network or chain. I'll just choose it here. Here, click acknowledge. And now the USDT address has been generated. So this is the address you will send to your sender, more like your bank account number if you want to use that term. Mind you, you don't want to use your mouse to copy this or even write it out manually because if you make a single error, you will lose your money and it can never be recovered again. So it's better for you to use this copy to clipboard button to copy it and then send it to your sender so that they can use the address to send your money to you. We'll pay you and in less than three minutes, you will get your alert deposit. Now, I'll show you how you two can send money on this platform to another person in cryptocurrency. But because this is a new account and I assume that your own account will also be new, we will still have to do some verifications before this account can send money. So let's quickly get to that. So come back to assets here, withdraw. Again, so as you can see, we have some settings to do for this new account. So click the setup now button. The first thing we want to set up here is SMS authentication. So come here and click settings. Here, select your country. Enter your mobile number. Make sure that it's an active number because they are going to be calling that number very soon. Now, a verification code will be sent to your email inbox. So I'll just go to my email inbox and copy it out. Mind you, that code is only valid for 60 seconds. So if you're ready, click send verification code link here. I'll complete this puzzle again. It has been sent to my inbox. So I'll just copy and write it here and then confirm. 
immediately you do this, Bybit will give you a live call on your phone number that you have imputed and then they will call out another code for you. So get your phone ready, pick the call and write out the code in here. Then you confirm it. So as you can see, our SMS has been verified successfully. So let's go to the next one, which is the identity verification. So again, click the verify now button. Click the identity transfer and this will pop up. Again, go to your email inbox and another code would have been sent to you. Copy it out and paste it in here. So again, scroll down and then click upgrade now button. So the next thing is address verification. Here you have to provide one of these documents that you are seeing on your screen. And here under you can also see the ones that are not accepted. So I'll be using my bank statement for my own verification in this tutorial. All I need to do was to launch my bank app on my phone and selected the most recent two month transactions and I downloaded it from my bank app in PDF form and then I uploaded them here. But feel free to use the one that is most easily accessible to you. So just click next. I am a resident of, okay, if you're not in the US, choose others. And if you are, then select US. So I'll go ahead and upload my bank statement in PDF. You can also complete this step on your phone. I have done mine on my laptop already, so I'll click next. Here, just wait and don't close this window. Your verification will be confirmed in less than two minutes. And if you want to leave or maybe it's taking too long, you can click the here link and then you will be able to see the verification results later. So for me, I will wait for this to be done now. So as you can see, I have now been verified. But again, there is still one more verification to do and that is the two-factor authentication verification. So I'll click return. I'll come back to withdraw. As you can see here, Google Authenticator not set. So here is it, I'll just click set up now. So here you can see that the security level of this account is still low. So I'll just come here and click Google 2FA Authentication. Now for the last time, check your email inbox again and then copy out the code that is being sent to you in your inbox. So I'll click send verification code, confirm. So what to do here is simple. Just go to Google Play Store or App Store on your phone and download an app called Google Authenticator. If you already have it on your phone, then that would be okay. Then go to the app and then tap new. Once you do that, scan this barcode from Bybit and then it will generate a code for you on the authenticator app on your phone. Come and paste it in here and then click confirm. Congrats, we have done our verification now and then this account is good as you can see. Remember that what we want to do is to send crypto to somebody else, right? So come in here to asset again, click withdraw. So again, choose the crypto coin that you want to send. I'll use USDT again. Here at Unchain Withdraw tab, you would also have notified the person you are sending the money to to generate the right coin and then chain type or network. So here I'll just use a fake wallet address for demonstration. Here again, let's use TRC20 as our network or chain. Here you will indicate how much you're sending. It must be less than your balance, of course. This is a new account, so it's still zero balance. And here is the cost of making transfer. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click the confirm button. So as you can see, these are the simple steps that you need to take to open a Bybit account and get your account verified and then the account is active for you to start using. So if you love this video and you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and I am sure that you will really want to subscribe to this channel so that you get more videos like this and other digital marketing videos from me. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.